Welcome back to the Zipline Simulator. More berries never hurt anyone. Hey, there's a Mega Milk Molar up here. The mushrooms I planted with the fertilizer have grown. I wanted to use them to keep making mite loaf, but this gives me mushroom chunks? I scanned the mushroom chunks and it teaches me yet another recipe for mushroom slurry. I grab the latter recipe, aphid hunter quest, and increase how many arrows I can stack. The crossbow just feels so satisfying. <laughs> Yo, my cups runneth over. I think it's past time we paid a visit to the red anthill. I craft the Red Ant Knee Guards and complete the Red Ant Ensemble. How do you do, fellow ants? Call me crazy, but I have an idea. This says it creates a gas zone. Is that the same gas attack that stink bugs use? Cause if it is, then I might have the best idea for getting a lot of nat fuzz. <laughs> Look at him go! Yeah, let's really get a good stink going. <laughs> They're dropping like, well, gnats. Oh, there's so much gnat meat, it's taking up all my precious room. Man, I have over two stacks of gnat fuzz. I can turn all this meat into rotten food for the garden. I need to hunt more aphids and explore the anthill next. A little bit of decorating should pass the time while stuff cooks in the base. They can hear me, but they can't see me. Too bad I can see them! Let's drop some plant slurry and have the aphids come to us for a change. I think there's a weevil stuck in the root and the ants just don't know what to do. And that makes 10. The aphid hunter quest is complete. Let's take a look at the big picture. There's a super chip and a regular chip in the koi pond. Nothing else in the hedge. Now remember that there's a chip in the red ant hill. And there's a super chip in the haze. A chip in that crab sandbox. Another super chip in this corner near the house and one on the picnic table, which must be where the bees are. I've never been up here. I saw from atop the base that there's a shed or a storage building over here with a lot of crap around it. I also have no clue where or what this is, but I at least have a game plan of where to go next. Oh yeah, that's looking real nice. Except for this bee. Much better. Let's see if I can attach a zip line here for quicker access to this mysterious machine area and the red ant hill. Found the trail marker. Uh oh, it looks like a ladybug riled up an ant swarm. Now's my chance to test if gas arrows will make the ants mad at me, even if I don't directly hit an ant with the arrow. The music cue is a disappointing sign. Yep, they're mad. Round 2, Red Ant Hill Boogaloo. Red Ant Hill Explorer Quest is completed. Now the ants took down the ladybug. Strike the earth, my little red dwarves. I didn't fully explore here last time, so I'm gonna take my time and check every nook and cranny. Quartzite? Just lying around? This brittle marble will do wonders duct taped to my clothes. Uh, <laughs> fight or flight? The ants must have brought down a piece of hot dog. Mine. Marble and quartzite, this place has it all. Deer. Burgle.
Jackpot. Oh, look. Another kid didn't make it. Hope I can put these shoulder pads to better use. Man, there are really a lot of these down here. I see something up here. Oh man, another skeleton in armor. Let's not think about ants devouring children and get some fun fun marble. The slimy texture and offensive odor suggest they've been here for quite some time. Haha, <laughs> a scabby! What a silly game and in no way implies that children were drugged down here. Maybe the kids lived here happily and helped the ants in a symbiotic relationship. Oh, 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 ooh. I thought it was different kids, but I think this is the same skeleton, just broken into sections. A kid must have been shrunk, and these ants tore him, her, asunder. Each piece of the skeleton also corresponds to what part of the bee armor you find, too. Yikes. Kids, could you lighten up a little? Hey, look at the tooth. Big tooth. Funny tooth. Another flooded area. Uh, I'll come back later. I like the general idea of raiding an anthill just to eat all the random food and junk that they brought down here. <laughs> what the hell is happening here? Ah, the crisp fresh air. Let's head back home. At the nearby field station I scan the rotten bee armor parts. They don't teach me anything, but I get more brain power at least. Equipping it allows the bow to stun enemies. That's pretty cool for a ranged build. Let's see how this stun works. Oh, g stupid gas arrows. Aw, connection blocked. I may have to build a little receiving tower to get across the grass line. That's unfortunate. Oh, Burgle. Chip delivery. Please refrain from being eaten by spiders, Peter Boggs. Oh, good lord. Pete Boggs. My name is a pun. I purchase fiber bandage efficiency and canteen upgrade recipes. Grab the Heal Bossa Artificer, Stink Bug Hunter, and Clover Poncho Artificer quests. And finally, increase my max stamina. Oh, it says what the symbol is at the bottom. One of these chips must have an oven recipe. A healing splash of filtered blood jelly. Ew. This canteen holds four big sips. You know I need that. Might as well make the clover poncho too. Well, this needs to be moved. Hmm, and I know just the spot. Now we're... Oh, wait, hold on. Now we're cooking! Let's get a little spawn point set here, and then I'll be ready to explore the pond. Wow, the wonders of aquatic life. Hey now, this opens. I need to be able to hold my breath longer if I want to explore down there. Let's see, the bubble helmet gives more air, but eelgrass is new to me. Are you eelgrass? This is wax. You seem eelgrass in stature. I see we're running on Sonic the Hedgehog rules. Of course there would be spiders down here. How about the jerk? Not looking good. What? Killing them restored my air. It's a koi pond miracle. Ah, crap. Hilbasa doesn't work underwater. Good thing the backpacks float. Ugh, not a fan. My base is blocking the zipline. That's better. Tim, you've done it again. I scan tadpole meat, lily pad wax, and algae. Green machine looks like a simple smoothie to keep my health top. Well, it's hard to say that health topped off. I haven't found a single sunken bone or eelgrass yet. 
I scan a diving bell spider chunk and learn bone dagger and bone trident recipes. There's a whole underwater tool section. I need to find where the bones are. Bone trident sounds pretty useful for these spiders. Harvesting aquatic flora. That tells me I may need a dagger to chop stuff up underwater. And an underwater lantern. I'm going to need to make a chest over here just for all these water-specific tools. Cut from tall, wispy eelgrass weeds. Okay, so they are definitely underwater, and I need to cut them to harvest them. Gill tube and fin flops sound useful, too. Now I'm getting into Harry Potter territory over here. Hello, Dup. The symbol changed to a dagger. Guess I need a dagger. I am definitely not prepared enough for this pond. It's that time of the video to learn about the friends and enemies we met along the way. Tadpoles are completely harmless and act as a food source. They drop tadpole meat which can be cooked, used in smoothies, or made into predator bait. Maybe sometime in the future, frogs or toads can be added. That's actually a pretty frightening thought. Another harmless creature. Water boatmen, unlike tadpoles, are not strictly a food source. Instead, they drop their fins, which can be used to make fin flops to help you swim faster. What's interesting about them is that they replenish your oxygen when killed. I assume that's because real water boatmen carry an air bubble underneath them that allows them to breathe underwater. Aquatic Spiders. What's not to love? Like all spiders, these guys are hostile and will attack you if they see you. They drop web fiber and diving bell spider chunks when killed. Real diving bell spiders use the hairs on their abdomen to create an air bubble that allows them to breathe underwater. They also have a larger bubble, or a diving bell, in their underwater nest, trapped by silk threads. Like the water boatmen, they also replenish your oxygen when killed. Well, that's all the time that I have for this episode. See you in the next one.